All right, interesting. Uh, cannabis. Cannabis. Cannabis is always interesting, right? So, as you know, many states in the United States have legalized marijuana. So, a significant number of states now have uh, legal marijuana uh, dispensaries, uh, uh, businesses. Businesses are now growing marijuana all over the United States and selling it in various forms. One of the problems with this is that it's still illegal according to federal law. It's still uh, a felony. It's still a crime to sell marijuana, to grow marijuana in terms of federal law. Now, the feds are not enforcing that law very much. But there is one area in which they are enforcing. That is, since almost all banks are, uh, you know, uh, have a national charter, have a, have a, a regulated by the feds, all banks are regulated by the feds in one way or the other, then uh, federal law applies to all these banks. And one of, the, w one of the regulatory principles is that banks are not allowed to deal with illegal businesses. They're not allowed to actually um, sell, sorry, bank people who deal in illegal activity. I, you know, I'm sure there's a technical term for what that means, but it's a crime. It's a crime to, um, to bank an illegal business knowing it, knowingly. So what happens is that you've got, and this is true of credit card companies, it's true of banks. So what you have is a whole segment of the economy, at least in the states where it's legal, that is functioning legally, but they cannot bank. They're an all-cash operation. They have to carry cash. They have to transact in cash. They have to deal with cash. They can't open a bank account. They can't get a loan. They can't deposit money. They can't write checks. They can't use credit cards. So the whole supply chain of marijuana is a cash business, which means that it's an open invitation to robbers, muggers, money launderers, organized crime, and it's super inconvenient. And indeed, banks that have, in the past, banked marijuana dealers have gotten into trouble with the feds. Mergers have been stopped because uh, a bank has been discovered that they, it has a lot of deposits of businesses that do marijuana, and that's not right. Anyway, for a change, there's actually a bill in Congress that's actually going to fix a problem and actually do some good. Um, it's, uh, it's a new bill that aims to give the marijuana industry access to banking services, and, and it's actually passed the Senate Banking Committee in a vote of 14 to 9. So, um, you know, it got some bipartisan support. I wonder who the nine who voted against it are, probably nine conservative Republicans. Uh, it's... Um, it's being led by both Republicans and Democrats in terms of uh, getting it through. Uh, but I can't imagine Democrats being against this bill, given that they want to they legalize uh, everywhere. Uh, 39 states have legalized marijuana, so this will affect a big chunk. It'll affect a lot of businesses. It'll affect a lot of lives. I mean, what they should do is legalize marijuana nationally, get rid of the federal law that uh, bans it. But short of that, at least make it legal for marijuana businesses in states where it's legal to be able to deal with banks. I mean, that seems to be pretty straightforward and pretty simple. You think somebody would have thought of this before, but we are where we are in the world. Not much rationality out there.